Hello and welcome. In this video, we will be covering the topic of Hill Global Time Synchronization. The 2024.2 version of Typhoon Hill Control Center software release offers a significant update to time synchronization functionality within the software. Previously, synchronization was limited in scope and offered restricted to specific configuration options. Now, the system fully supports Hill Global Time Synchronization. This improvement is particularly valuable for power system simulations where one light protection relays rely on precise timing. The Hill Global Time Synchronization feature synchronizes the basic elements of the Hill system, the Typhoon FPGA solver, and the CPU. On the FPGA side, the update enhances simulation time synchronization and the capture function by providing absolute trigger time, letting you synchronize and correlate captured signals with real world events. On the CPU side, Communication protocols like IEC 61850, sampled values, and C37-118 provide timestamps within the data packets they transmit. The Hill device CPUs can leverage this information to include accurate timestamps within any outgoing Ethernet packets. This ensures both the data and timing within the Hill system are synchronized, regardless of the original time synchronization source. There are two synchronization sources which can be utilized, IRIG-B and PDP. When IRIG-B or PTP is a time synchronization source, the exact time information is received every second, and the hill time is updated constantly, ensuring that all network messages have the correct timestamp. Three levels of synchronization can be defined for the hill device. The first level is full device synchronization, which enables the synchronizing of the internal clock of the hill device, simulation start time, real-time trigger time steps for signal capture, internal system time synchronization, and communication protocol synchronization. The second level is internal system time synchronization. Some applications in the Typhoon Hill tool chain use the Hill device's internal system time as a synchronization source. For this reason, the internal system time of a Hill device can be synchronized using PTP, even on one that do not support full device synchronization. The third level is individual communication protocol synchronization. It is possible to configure individual application-based synchronization without having full system synchronization. An example of a communication protocol that supports application-based time synchronization is IEC 61850 sampled values. When it comes to the user interface, the existing time synchronization component has been updated with an easy-to-use interface. The component supports synchronization source selection and configuration together with the synchronization status of the Hill system. First, let's look at the PTP time synchronization feature. In the test setup, Ethernet port one of the Hill device is connected to an Ethernet port of a switch device with Grandmaster Clock capability. The switch is connected to a GPS antenna to provide accurate time in the network. Now, let's open schematic editor and configure the time synchronization component. Let's select the sync source as PDP and set the Ethernet port to 1. In the PDP Options tab, we set the PDP configuration to IEC 61850-93. Now let's compile and run the simulation. Once the model is compiled and loaded onto the Hill device, we can run the simulation. In the SCADA panel, we have three simple LEDs which indicate different states of the Hill device. PDP indicates the presence of the external PTP source. A value of 1 indicates that the system is actively being synchronized. Since IRIG-B is not active in this example, the GPS LED will be off all the time. The synchronized LED indicates whether the Hill device has achieved full synchronization or not. The output value will be 1 if the device was actively being synchronized by the selected external source at simulation start. If synchronization is lost at any point during the simulation, the Hill device will be considered out of sync for the remainder of the simulation, even if synchronization is re-established. We can see that PDP and synchronized are on. This means the system is fully synchronized over PTP. Let's now change the source of the time synchronization to IRIG-B. The Hill device is now connected to a switch over IRIG-B with a Grandmaster device. Let's now change the source of the time synchronization to IRIG-B. The Hill device is now connected to a switch over IRIG-B with a Grandmaster device. Now, let's compile the model and run the simulation. GPS status indicates the presence of an external IRIG-B source. 
a value of 1 indicates that the system is actively being synchronized. We can see that GPS and synchronized are on, meaning the system is fully synchronized over iRigby. Let's now demonstrate how time synchronization works with an absolute trigger time indicator. In this case, we will use the digital substation example model. In this example model, we will simulate a fault on feeder 01. In the same time, a trigger will be activated to capture the absolute time of the fault. First, let's set the trigger type as analog and the source to be the current measurement on feeder number one. Now, let's perform the fault. If the trigger time is available, the UTC time and timestamp value can be copied by right-clicking on the trigger time indicator and selecting the corresponding option in the context menu. Thank you for watching this tutorial video on the functionality of time synchronization of Hill device. If you have any additional questions or require further support, please don't hesitate to reach out to us using the ticketing system. Check the video description for more resources on this topic, including how to download and get started with Typhoon Hill Control Center for free. You can also visit hill.academy to access free courses, expand your hill testing skill set, and get certified. Subscribe to our channel to get notified about new content.